Hello, Night Nation, and welcome to a special overtime edition of the UCF Nightline podcast on YouTube. I'm Andrew Fegley. I'm Trace Trilko. We're coming to you from Bright House Network Stadium to preview the 2016 UCF football nights. Behind us, you can see work continues on the new scoreboard. Trace, it's a new era of UCF football. A new head coach, Scott Frost, brings his fast-paced spread offense over from Oregon hoping to turn around a disastrous 2015 season. Boy, disastrous is the right word. It cannot get much worse than 2015. 0-12, a slew of injuries, an anemic offense, a porous defense. Question, though, is a fresh start was needed, but how quickly can UCF return to prominence? I think it's everybody's opinion that last year was a a total fluke and that this year will hopefully return UCF to where we expect them to be. During media day, head coach Scott Frost said, you know, he, he's still upbeat. He's projecting a good outlook. And key for him was the change in culture. These guys were hungry for a different direction and kind of a new culture. I think that's natural anytime you're coming off a, a tough season. Um, they're really buying into what we're, what we're showing them and what we're asking them to do. And the guys are enjoying football. Uh, they're embracing our process. They're embracing one another. Uh, They're learning how to be good teammates to one another. They're learning how to be leaders. And uh, a lot of the things that we try to teach them to establish our culture are are shining through brightly. I don't have much of a statement. We're, uh, you know, a week and a half into training camp. Was really pleased with the first week. We kind of hit a training camp wall a couple days ago. But with as much effort as they've been giving us, that's to be expected. Now it's just seeing how they respond to that adversity. Thought they had a really good, lively practice, energetic practice this morning. I think we're on the right track. I have no doubt that we're uh, headed in the right direction. Uh, we just have to con- continue to take steps to get us where we want to go. Uh, everybody's moving in the same direction, pulling in the same direction, understands what we're trying to accomplish, and we just got to get there step by step. At Media Day, we talked to several of the players that are keys to watch on offense. Count's been great. Um, just the hardest thing I can say is just adjusting to it coming out of high school, but the speed, you know, is very fast. But I'm adjusting, and I love it. Count's you know, it's just nothing but hard work. As y'all know, UCF fast, but it's just get and go. We get to play and we go. It's going to be a fun offense to watch this year during the season. Just up-tempo, up-tempo. It's going to be way faster than last year. The speed is a lot similar to what I was, what I was doing in high school. We ran up-tempo in my high school. Um, learning the playbook is definitely a, has been a, a task, but, I mean, I feel like I'm a smart guy, and I feel like uh, Coach Verdusco is doing a great job of teaching me and as well as all the other quarterbacks uh, what we need to know. You know, Andrew, UCF's new fast style of play is also being felt on the defensive side of the ball. Well, going through camp, you know, is something that our strength coaches uh, and Coach Duval, they helped us out. You know, that's something that we've been working on through the summer, you know, getting conditioned for this type of this type of play that we actually do. And, you know, it's going really well, and I feel like if you continue to take it one play at a time, you'll make it through anything. Uh, it, it'll test you. I mean, as a defensive player, it, it, tests, it, it, it tests you pretty good. You know, with the fast tempo that the offense goes at, and even offensively, you know, it's not just the physical test, it's, just the, it's the mental test also. Well, you know, them going that fast and the offense knowing what they got to do and the defense having to check to whatever or calling the coverage or whatever and then playing. So, I mean, it's, it's been a test, but we, I think we adapted well. The non-conference slate includes a tough road game at the Big House against Michigan and a home game against the Big Ten's Maryland Terrapins. Those are tough games, but first things first, Andrew, UCF has a chance to get a win for the first time in a long time at the home opener against South Carolina State, Saturday, September 3, 7 o'clock, right here at the Bright House. It's good because he has an immense amount of knowledge, and it's good to know you have a coach that's actually played your position, and you can go to him about any and every situation. He's probably been through it himself, not even coached it, but actually been through it, and that's an added benefit for us. No, hopefully we have, we pick our best quarterback. I think that'll work itself out and be clear to everybody by the time the first game comes around, and uh, if that guy's earned it in practice, uh, expect him to be our guy the entire year. Justin Holman's done a really good job. Nick Patty is coming along. He's figuring it out. All the other guys have shown flashes at times of being a guy and, and making decisions and making throws. But it's still a work in progress. You know, that's something that I try to think about, but it's something I, I would never lose. You know, uh, Going to season like that is, is something that you never want to experience in your life. And that's something that we're continuing to think about as we practice. And every time we have a, a slower practice, you got to continue to remind yourself of what happened last year. And that's something that we don't want to go back to. 
Thanks for joining us on this special overtime edition of the Nightline Podcast on YouTube. And be sure to check out our website, www.ucfnightlinepodcast.com. Like us on Twitter, at UCF underscore Nightline, and follow us on Facebook. And of course, Andrew, all new editions of the Nightline Podcast go up every Sunday night. You can find us on all sorts of platforms from SoundCloud to iTunes, so many more. I'm Trace Trolko. I'm Andrew Fegley. Go Knights. Charge on.